Callista was in an apprehensive mood. I'm sorry, I promise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Primus scratched his long blonde hair and looked at his wife who had shown up from the dead <sighs> Kai will be fine Mr. Kai will be fine we'll find him we'll secure him we'll take care of him <sighs> Lobo wants him, said Callista, and Lobo's not very easy to stop. That Harry Hocum, he's got ambitions for the Citadel. That's becoming quite clear. The Omega Man, we oppose tyranny, and I don't think the Citadel is always the most noble of intended dominions out there. We've got to stop him. With Kai's secrets, they can unearth some of the power of Dark Side and Apocalypse, said Callista. And that will not be good. More of that dark magic will not be good at all. Yuga Khan is a devious fella, said Callista. What his son Dark Side does down in those pits, in those terror pits, in the catacombs of Apocalypse is not friendly, and Kai has the codes to get down there and to get Hokum's stooges down there. We have to find Kai and protect him. So that's the adventure that the Omega Men are doing. What's his name? Gemini Kai? No, it's not Gemini Kai. I can't remember Kai's first name from the first video, aren't I? Well, it's not Cobra Kai. I can't remember Kai's first name, but um, Kai is the fellow who's taking up with a secret way and has secrets for Dark Side, secrets of Dark Side's apocalypse. And the Omega Men have to go to the planet, it was Geldron 4 or something like that, and they have to find Kai and protect him from the hunting bounty hunter skills of Lobo. Lobo tends to get his man usually in the end. He's Probably the galaxy's finest bounty hunter with his associate, Bedlam, the bounty hunter. And Bedlam's probably also been roped in to this particular bounty, which is set high by Harry Hocum, who wants a citadel to have more power in this galactic game they are playing. So Primus and Tigger and Callista and the other Omega Men travel to the world of Kai and track him down and their job is to protect him from the threat Lobo and Bedlam will face on him. There's a conflict coming, and Kai falls into the hands of Lobo and Harry Hookham, who are hooking off to take him back to the Citadel. They travel after him, the Omega Men, and they come to the Citadel and secretly find their way in, using the best disguises that they can. They rescue Kai, but it's too late. Hokum got the codes and the information needed and just whacked him back into a jail cell and forgot about him. No matter, is what Callista says to Primus. They got their information, but Kai's fine. But Harry Hokum has more power now, says Primus. And that's the least of things we want from the Citadel Empire.